All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we're having a science-y episode, if that makes sense, because, well, the James Webb Space Telescope just returned its first images back to Earth. And the images are literally so incredible. I was like, dude, I have to make a video about this because, I mean, I'm a big space nerd. I really like science-y stuff like this. You know, I, I like to read about this. I like to look into things like this. And personally, I've been following the launch and the deployment of the James Webb Space Telescope since before it even launched and I've been really excited about this project for a really long time now and we have finally gotten the first images from the James Webb Space Telescope and I think that when you look at these if you really look at them the right way it'll literally put your entire life into a completely different perspective like when you really consider what you're about to take a look at here it is literally so mind-blowing that we have developed the technology and the ability to be able to see things like this I figure here on the channel we cover enough negativity we cover enough stories that kind of make you lose your faith in humanity that maybe we'd switch it up a little bit and we'd throw one out that actually makes you regain your faith in humanity. In my opinion, the James Webb Space Telescope is one of the not only pinnacles of modern technology that we have, but also is one of those things that really shows you the true, I would say, extent of humanity's potential. Regardless of what you see on the news and what you see on social media all the time, humans are pretty goddamn smart. I mean, you put a hundred really intelligent people in a room, there's honestly no telling what you can get. And in reality, well, this is the kind of stuff that you do get. So let's go ahead and take a look at these beautiful, incredible, phenomenal images, and let's talk about it, and let's talk about why this is so important and why this is so cool. So this is one of the first images that I wanted to show you guys, and this is a phenomenal picture. So the really big, bright stars that you you see that are showing these big light beams and everything are actually local stars in our galaxy that's why they're shining off so much light and why they're so visible but all of these other little dots and these little beams and stuff you see are actually entire galaxies containing god knows how many different stars and even more planets and keep in mind this is just one very small look back in time since this is so far away obviously light travels at well the speed of light and it takes light a year to travel a full light year this image is literally showing you galaxies and images from way back earlier in the timeline of the universe. And this is such a phenomenal picture because it really kind of opens your mind up. Like when I look at this picture, it makes me really consider a lot of things. Like we really are sitting here on a small little rock floating around one little star in an infinite cosmos of different galaxies, stars, just black holes. I mean, every single one of these galaxies has just phenomenal potential like when you look at everything that is in a galaxy when you really take the time to think about how big a galaxy really is it becomes kind of hard to wrap your head around just how much stuff is in this picture i mean it looks like just well like i don't know like a wallpaper or something on your computer but you have to think if there is really alien life out there and it really is as prevalent as it could be you could potentially be looking at billions if not trillions of different alien life forms in one picture and i know there's a lot of people out there that don't believe in aliens and they don't think alien life exists but when you look at a picture like this and you really just think about how vast the universe is how do you not believe that there's something out there how do you not believe that there's aliens like even in just one of these galaxies all it takes is for one planet to just be in the habitable zone of its star and to have all the right building blocks of life and uh, just a multitude of different things have to go right a lot of different factors have to play together for there to be life but I mean when you look at all of this and this is once again just like not even a fraction of a percent of the entire universe right you see all of the potential out there and when you think about how small we really are it kind of I, I don't know it, it doesn't make me feel inferior or like make me feel little but you realize just how unimportant everything that happens in our life really is man so this is one of my favorite pictures from the groupings that they showed, and I mean, look at that, man. We live in such a beautiful and awe-inspiring universe. I mean, this looks little because it's in a picture on your monitor, but you have to think, this is so unimaginably large, or at least it was. You wouldn't even be a speck of dirt if you were compared by size to this thing. Like, you would literally be less than microscopic. When you look at this, like when you look at pictures like this, it's almost as if the universe is literally handcrafted. Like, it just looks like some large science project, you know, that aliens have in a jar or something on their bedroom shelf. 
What's really sad to me about this is that I'll never get to see any of this in person, you know, like it's incredible and it's beautiful to see on a monitor and honestly I'm really thankful that we get an opportunity to look at cool stuff like this and know more about the universe that we live in, but it just sucks to know that you'll never be able to see something like this in person, at least most likely. We would have to go through some crazy technological advance to go and see something like this in real life, but you gotta think, if humans are still around in like millions if not tens of millions of years, wouldn't it be cool if they had like tourist attractions? Actions like this where you could go and see things like this in real person like just getting a spaceship ride a couple years and you can go see something like this in person that would be so incredible I know that that sounds so unrealistic and it sounds like a sci-fi movie but man I, I wish we were there like it, it just it's so cool now this personally is my favorite image of all of them this one really looks like a desktop wallpaper here this looks like it was made in Photoshop or something but no the universe itself created this and it it's one of honestly the most beautiful space images I think Think we've ever seen pictures like the actually I'm not even gonna say pictures like this this image alone will be in science textbooks in the next 20 to 30 years you are literally witnessing history unfold by looking at these images the amount of new knowledge and information that we're gonna be able to learn about planets about the universe about the timeline of our universe the history of our universe from these images that are coming from the James Webb Space Telescope are so it's mind-blowing like it's honestly very inspiring to me man like we really are out here getting to witness stuff like this in our lifetimes like i said over on twitter you have to think a couple centuries ago humans literally thought the sun revolved around the earth and we were the only planet less than a century ago we landed on the moon with less computer power than your phone has in its processor and we're now literally witnessing the beginning of the universe through images through the most powerful telescope we've ever assembled and put into space and you are actively getting to witness that in your lifetime you are seeing things that billions tens of billions of humans that lived before you will never be able to see. Honestly, I think you should feel very thankful that you have the opportunity to see something so beautiful and so awe-inspiring. Now, this is my second favorite image, and I think that this one's really cool. So this is actually multiple galaxies that are in, like, some sort of big tangle. It's actually five different galaxies that are kind of spiraling around and dancing with one another. So from my understanding, the gravitational pull at the center of all of these galaxies has been pulling all five of these galaxies into one another, and now they're doing, like, this cosmic spiral. And this actually reminds me of the fate of our galaxy, the Milky Way galaxy, which is actually about to collide with the Andromeda galaxy in a couple billion years. And this is almost like reminiscent of what we'll see in a couple billion years out of our own galaxy. It's so phenomenal to think that things so large can even collide in this way or be pulled together in this way. Imagine the countless amounts of stars and planets that are inside of this image, not only just in these five galaxies dancing around right here, but in the hundreds of galaxies and stars that you can see in the background of of this image like it is probably mathematically possible or probable even that there's life somewhere in this image if life is as prevalent as it really could be as prevalent as it could be like in our galaxy even you gotta think man there could be god knows how many extraterrestrial life forms out there in these galaxies like it, it blows my mind you know if the fabric of life could work on earth it could obviously work on other planets and you can't even count the planets that are in this image it's just incredible to see things like this and just know that 40 years from now you know or something when your grandchildren or whatever are in school reading their textbooks they're going to be looking at these images and they'll probably be way outdated at that point you know what i mean but we'll all have witnessed this for the very first time today and you'll be able to talk to your grandkids and be like i remember when those pictures came out and i remember seeing those for the first time like this is a legitimate moment in human history and in space and scientific history man so i, I just wanted to share this with you guys because i thought it was phenomenal i'm extremely impressed by the capabilities of the james webb space telescope it is of course the most powerful telescope we've ever put into space so i mean i guess we should have expected this but just imagine how many more phenomenal images we're gonna get to see because of this telescope man i'm honestly really excited so with that being said thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel follow me over on twitter and twitch at sub to optimus make sure to check out shoptimus down below and until my next video guys this is optimus well talking about the james webb space telescope's pictures and signing out